Hey guys, it's your boy Vibhag with more Malfish Vet content and today we are doing a comparison between Black Bolt Fallen Soul, the newest uniform for the Halloween special 7050 Full Crystal versus the Marvel's X which was the previous uniform for Black Bolt. A lot of people have been asking me if it is really worth to purchase this uniform if you already have this uniform and I would say yes because if you want to use Black Bolt, this uniform is a hero and this is a villain so I think there is a lot of value right there because a character which switches from hero to villain uniform is super super useful if you take a look at Iron Man that is why Iron Man is super super useful because he has a super Iron Man uniform and then back to basics so uh, these characters can cover a lot but is it really worth and the jump is big or not we will be testing out level 80 black bolt with a cdp of rage in dimension missions and dispatch missions in this video i will be doing a gbr specific video for this one as well uh, i already used the black bolt on this account is already used in gbr so i can't compare i can't uh, uh, record the runs with this guy but i'll do that soon as possible so this is the team up that we'll be running uh, it's gonna be mainly black bolt i'm not using any other damage dealer character Characters. Valkyrie is there she has a race so she will be helping out but more than that a support and then Medusa which gives 45% damage increase uh, for inhuman types which is awesome let's take a look at the build the build is going to be exactly the same with both the uniforms so this is how it goes uh, well it's not like this around 190% you can say I changed this one so my critical damage is low and if you see this the build is exactly the same on both the account that's why I switched the fourth gear so the build looks like this everything is maxed out I'm gonna switch the new uniform we have a bunch of Odin's blessings on this guy 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 Odin's blessings which is nice uh, 30 gears Dodge, all skills are level 6, which is not bad. Universal type enhancement, rank 4. Overdrive stage 12 set, we have the, well, basically it's no artifact, doesn't really help out. Critical damage decrease is really is really bad. CDP of rage, and then we have a mythic uniform uh, with these uniform options right here. For the uniform for Marvel X, we also have the uniform options, all of them. So this is how he also looks like. Now let's take a look at the dimension difference and everything. It doesn't have... Uh, it doesn't matter if you use the cards or not. I'm gonna go for this team up. Uh, let's just to see stage 6 on this dimension mission. Just to see how strong he is. Can he clear it by solo with the new uniform. And then I'm gonna switch to the Marvel X uniform uh, after this one. So I have not seen him in dispatch yet. So this is my first time also seeing him and see how much damage he can do. He's very strong at level 80. You need level 80 for sure. I would say if you are in need of such a good character i think black bolt is a really good option for go for but if you want for alliance battle legend specifically or you already have thor i would say he's not worth it for those stages yes you can use him in certain stages but honestly i would love to go with thor which has more value compared to black bolt although this uniform particularly is a well once in a year uniform exclusively so you will not be able to get this uniform until next year so and this uniform honestly it is really good it reminds me of cable summer days it's very good uniform even at level 80 it does awesome you can clear say 69 null even at uh, i believe level 80 if you, if you have a level 80 black bolt that is definitely possible and that is probably the only use or the most uses for Black Bolt right there. If you already have Thor, maybe the you can think of if you really want to do that. I myself bought this uniform in my account because, well, I'm not going to tier 4 right now. But if I decide to tier 4 later, well, I need to make sure that I have the uniform. 155 remaining, we were able to get this stage down with the new uniform. Now, let's change the uniform to the old one and let's see how much difference in terms of time it actually causes so i'm just gonna go this level 80 uh, again enter and the same stage we'll go and we'll check out if it is really a big difference in terms of damage output uh, you can definitely use the new uniform i think the new uniform is a lot better compared to this uniform uh, this uniform is nice but as you see the skill damage is not really that amazing with this uniform still has the aov still has very good AOV. look at that but you would notice that with the uh, with the new uniform, we were able to one shot most of the waves from uh, most of these waves easily. And uh, the bad the best part was well, the new uniform also gives you the proc 
the 90% proc on the third skill, which this uniform does not have. This uniform has the damage accumulation on the third skill, not on the, I believe, the fifth skill. It is a fourth skill, it is, I don't remember. Third skill is still maybe for Black Bolt or the uniform as well. It just has more damage. Tier 3 skill also, the other one is better. It only, well, uh, it only targets, it only targets the mobs or enemies which are right below you, around you. The other one, the new uniform tier 3 actually is much better because apart from and also it has a big AOV, he moves. So even if the even if the enemy is far far ahead of him, he's he can still do it. We are uh, close to this guy. Let's see if we can do something here. Uh, he's gonna go. Wow. Okay. So around the same time with this uniform as well. Now it was a little bit biased. Okay. So RNG literally played its game. What happened was it freaking gave Black Bolt the proc on the tier three skill with this uniform. So, because of that, he was able to get it down uh, exactly the same time when the other uniform actually did that, which should not be the case. It's not going to happen. And I think you might see that on the 12-5. So, 12-5, this is not really the best team up, but I'm just trying him and see if he can do it, if he can get even closer to the 12-5. Maybe not. Or maybe I'll just go for 12-1. Let me just go for 12-1, just so that I can give him slightly, uh, maybe advantage or something. If he's not able to do that, level 80, 12, well, 12, 5 is easy for level 80 if you're playing manually. But if you're playing on autoplay, Thor is the best for this category. So it kind of is like that. So I'm still trying to think what, which one is going to be better and if it's really worth to actually purchase this thing or not. Anyways, let's uh, move on. Come on. Valkyrie and they actually, they work uh, pretty good together. Valkyrie has a pretty amazing RNG. Uh, RNG, <laughs> the AOV, so she can target a lot of mobs and help Black Bolt out and stun lock them, guard break them and everything and Black Bolt can come up and then do his damage. Sadly, the fourth skill does not really run, run for forever because it's on autoplay and not on manual. So yeah, he might lose some damage because of that, maybe not, I don't know, it's just, uh, it's a pretty typical con uh, conversation about that. Gonna use it into the fifth skill. And you will see it is taking a lot of time to clear this thing and I don't think he will be able to clear this stage. Uh, just by the looks of it, like it's already over 2 minutes and we are still stuck on the first phase. Still stuck on the first phase. Which I don't like, unless he gets... Okay, this is this was bad, I do not want to activate the power saving mode. Turn off power saving mode please. Yeah, turn it off, turn it off. <laughs> Sorry about that, I had it on. Uh, I was not it was not meant to try it. So maybe I, I'll turn it off later on as well when I try to record these things Anyways Let's see what happens. We have 142 still fighting still trying to get the through those uh, Stupid mobs. They are so annoying. I can totally feel it and then we have black bulls tier 3 skill It's super strong uh, when he goes to the tier 3 skill, he basically one shots everything that's there. Medusa on this account only has a 120 proc, so it's not helping out a lot. It's only for the buffs for this guy. And Valkyrie has a race, so she is definitely helping him out. You know, that's that's how it is. 114, we have a 113, 112. Tier 3 skill is used. I don't like it uh, because I would have loved it if he had saved it for the boss. Now the boss stage is gonna come, 1-5 remaining. Can they clear, can they kill Moon Girl in this as well? It will be a sight to see. So, I think if he gets a proc, just one proc on the tier 3 skill, he can easily do it. And I do think that he might, they might just be able to do it, for sure. I think we'll get the proc on the 5th skill, right here. We did not... Okay, this is, a, this is cheating again, AI. They, it gave the proc to the tier 3 skill. It was cheating. It did not even activate on the 5th skill. AI is favoring this uniform, uh, RNG is what the heck. 38 seconds remaining, I think should be able to clear the stage easily for sure. Look at that, the proc is uh, delayed, a bit delayed to activation. Third skill should get the proc. Again, he's gonna get the proc on the DS skill. Look at that. This is cheating. And clears it with, uh, well, almost 90 seconds. Can they clear the mob? Can they clear the mobs? 15 seconds to go, he clears 12-1. Wow. And that was RNG a bit cheating, honestly. I don't... <laughs> it's stupid. Like, why 
would it let him have the proc on the tier three skill, the strongest tier three, uh, strongest skill that Black Bolt has? Anyway, let's switch the uniform and let's see if it can do faster. The Fallen Soul can it actually do faster, or is it going to be exactly the same? Going to use the exact same team up and let them auto play by themselves. So, well, RNG is definitely favoring the other uniform, which is sort of stupid. But anyways, let's take a look at this thing. We have a Black Bolt. Uh, I like this uh, skill. The fifth skill is pretty nice. The fourth skill is good. Okay. Um, I think he's doing a lot more damage. For sure, look at that. Like, of course, the end results matter. So as long as he clears it faster, that's there. Now he's gonna use the tier three skill. Come on. And he goes. Clears the whole arena with the mobs. Sadly, he could not clear the one mob, so he had to use the fifth skill on this guy. But, uh, well, I think it might just get super close. It might get super close in these stages, maybe. Let's see. 218, so 217 able to get it done. That was not bad. Let's see. 216, I think we had like a minute and 11 seconds or something, or a minute and one second remaining, right? For the hero uniform, I don't remember. So, let's see. Tier 3 skill sadly got totally wasted because the mobs were not even around there. So it is how it is. Let's see. He used the first skill. He's not using the third skill, which is really bad. He was using the third skill with the other uniform. And third skill, I believe, has the accumulation. So I think it sort of sucks that he's not using that skill. Anyways, uh, we have 145. Okay, look at that. Use a tier 3 skill, get it, and let's see, hopefully, if he if he gets a tier 3 skill on the boss, it's bingo. It's literally bingo. We have a lot more time remaining. Uh, 141 remaining. This is pretty awesome, actually. Pretty huge. Got the proc. And you can see the normal skill damage is even actually better compared to the older uniform. So, it is definitely a significant, uh, significant increase in terms of damage output. But, let's see. 26 seconds. He's gonna go for the 5th skill right here. Tier 3 skill, he gets the proc on the tier 3 skill and look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, he's almost gone. <laughs> so yeah, if he gets the proc on the tier 3 skill, it's like bingo for him. Uh, still trying to kill it, a lot time, a lot of time remaining, so I don't think time is going to be any issue. We cleared the moon, uh, moon girl and a few more mobs remaining, one minute to go and one minute remaining and he cleared it. It is 45 seconds faster compared to the older uniform. Even and both these uniforms got the tier 3 skill proc on the older uniform as well. On the, well, basically the tier 3 skill uh, was did actually have the rage proc. So, well, uh, Dimension Missions definitely they got really close. And I think the main reason he got the proc on the tier 3 skill and this uniform did not. So, that was a case there. But Dispatch... Man, this uniform is a lot better. Crazy strong, crazy better. 45 seconds is a huge difference. Uh, if you take a look at the uniform, in my opinion, totally worth it. Now, you guys might be thinking, when I, am I going to show you the GBR run? I will be showing you guys a, a level 80 GBR run for Black Bolt super soon with both the uniforms. I'll try and do it with this uniform as well as with this uniform and see if he can actually clear it with both the uniform and what the difference in the time is. So I can let you guys know about that later. For now, Dispatch, Dimension Missions, as, as well as I would say for World Boss Legend, uh, in my opinion, this uniform is a lot better compared to the older uniform. So if you guys are th still thinking if you should purchase this, if you are going to take level 80 Black Bolt, I think you should get this uniform. You know, it's a pretty amazing uniform. And if you ever plan to tier 4 him, he is a monster. The best tier 4 PvE wise in the game. So insane damage. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about Black Bolt. Do you still think there is something bothering you about this uniform do you still think that it is worth it because in my opinion it is totally definitely amazing uniform it reminds me of cable summer day so gonna show you the gbr runner later and as always if you do enjoy the content i hope to see you again take care i'll see you all in the next one the uniform is pretty awesome actually